Hey folks, this is Richard Rost with AccessLearningZone.com. I just wanted to drop a quick video to let you guys know that I've released Access Developer Level 50. Yes, it's hard to believe I got 50 of these things already. This one starts covering a very popular topic. People have been asking me for this for years, class modules, right? Creating class modules, encapsulation, calculated properties, all that stuff. And well, here's someone who can describe exactly what's covered in that class, me. I'll give you the intro video so you can see exactly what's covered. Welcome to Microsoft Access Developer Level 50, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today, we're gonna begin our journey into class modules. We've done lots and lots of VBA programming with regular modules, and I've always said, this is the guy here, class modules we're not gonna be using. Well, today, we're gonna to start using that to build classes. We're gonna review user-defined types, which we've covered before in Developer 40. We're gonna build a class module. We're gonna learn about encapsulation. We're gonna create calculated and read-only properties. We're gonna add methods and behaviors to a class, and then we're gonna finish it all up with a real-world example using data from our customer table. This class follows Access Developer 49. While I strongly recommend you take all of my classes in order, it's not necessary, but you should have a good solid understanding of Access. The beginner series is a must. The expert series, especially the stuff on relationships. Developer 16 will be important because we are gonna use record sets today. So I do recommend you take them all. I strongly recommend you don't skip levels. Go see this page for more information on why. It is currently 2025, so I am using an Access 365 subscription, which is roughly equivalent to Access 2024. The material covered in today's class should work all the way back to, I'm guessing, Access 2007 or so. If you have any questions regarding the material covered in today's class, just scroll down to the bottom of the page that you're on and post your questions there. Also, take a minute to read through any other questions that have been posted, as your question may have already been answered. And if you want to get notified anytime someone posts a question or other information about this course, click on that red subscribe button. If you got any other questions about Access in general, post them in the Access forum. I got a great group of moderators and we all love helping people out with their questions. All right, let's take a closer look at exactly what's covered in today's class. In lesson one, before we get into class modules, we're going to review user-defined types which we did cover initially in Developer 40, we're gonna go into a little more detail and we're gonna talk exactly about why user-defined types are limited as compared to what class modules can do. In lesson two, we're gonna create our first class module. We're gonna create a new class module, give it a name, add public variables to it, instantiate the class and assign values, and then we'll talk about how it compares to user-defined types. In lesson three, we're gonna learn about encapsulation. That's taking our variables and making them so that they're limited to just the class. You have to use the class to read and write the data, right? Not everybody in the, you know, not every form, not every report can read the data directly from the class. Only you can, that's called encapsulation. We'll talk about that in this lesson. In lesson four, we're continuing on with our class stuff. We're gonna make calculated and read only properties. We'll make properties, which are basically like functions that you can have look at the data in the class and return certain information. So I could say, get me how many years this customer has been active. It knows customer sense. It can figure that out. Stuff like that. That's all covered in lesson four. In lesson five, we're going to add methods and behavior to our class, right? It's no longer just about storing data and retrieving data. Now we can actually do stuff. For example, deactivating a customer. Right, we can flip them from active to deactivated, but the logic is handled inside the class itself and we can add rules to it. Right, you can't deactivate a customer that's less than a year old, that kind of stuff. All right, that's all covered in lesson five. In lesson six, we're gonna wrap it all up today with a real world example. We're gonna use a record set, loop through all the customers in our table, set each customer into a class, using the class logic and then display it with the class functions. So we get the full name and their customer status straight out of the class functions. And then it's gonna be pretty cool. So <laughs> check it out, that's all in lesson six.